Hello again, in this video tutorial I will show you how to measure the orbits with the Digivibe MX software. To draw the orbit, you will need two accelerometers, the first one in a horizontal position and the second one in a vertical position. Connect the horizontal accelerometer to the accelerometer 1 port and the vertical accelerometer to the optical sensors port. Click on New Vibration Analysis. Check the two channels option. Usually you can draw an orbit with only 5 seconds or even less, just in case of making a rundown orbit you will set a higher recording time. Turn on the engine. Click on Start Capture. Click on Stop Capture. Click on Orbit. This graph is the resultant of the displacement during the whole time. Select these buttons according to the position of your accelerometers. Click on play button to see a video sequence of the orbit. This particular orbit is distorted due to two asynchronous frequencies that we will say later. In order to see less lines you can reduce the segment. This segment sets the signal length that you are watching on each screen. Let's go back to our time domain signal to see which is the frequency that distorts our orbit. This frequency is our rotation speed. The rest of these frequencies are responsible for distorting our orbit. This orbit here is how the motor really moves seen from our perspective. However we can also make some filtering in order to see the orbit of each frequency. Right now we are going to make a low pass filter to see only the orbit at the rotation speed. The low pass filter helps us remove the high frequencies of our signals. Now let's redo the filtering to the rotation speed with a bandpass filter. Let's say we want to see the orbit of the electrical vibration of this motor found at 7200 CPM. Now let's redo the filtering to the rotation speed with a bandpass filter. These tools here are made to help you measuring your graphs. You can find these tools almost on every graphic of the software. For example, this orbit here has a width of 180 micrometers and a height of 191 micrometers. Now we will make another test. This time we will imbalance our motor with some clay.
like for watching and don't forget to see our rundown orbit, you will find the link below.